If Romania encourages traditional skills, then England is equally enthusiastic in this respect. St. Mary's Church at Stoke Devon in Surrey is typical of the country's magnificent ecclesiastical architecture since medieval times. Here in England, too, it is the fair sex that delightfully combined with tradition. Actress Ingrid Hafner, for example, has followed her hobby of brass rubbing into many churches of many counties. But St. Mary's is one of her favorites. Reverend John Watterson, rector of St. Mary's, is used to visitors. But not many get down on their hands and knees with a sheet of paper and some cobbler's wax. But that's Ingrid's hobby, and those materials are all you need to enjoy it. The technique of brass rubbing looks simple enough, but we wonder whether it's another of those things at which only the expert really profits. Anyway, Ingrid assures us, it's just a matter of placing the paper over the brass and rubbing it with the wax. The brass, often engraved in fine detail, comes out like a photo negative. But Ingrid does stress that the secret is to apply the wax hard and evenly over the paper. Ingrid's hobby takes quite a time if the desired result is to be achieved. The brass she is working on in this case is the tomb of the second Sir John Debenham, whose family gave its name to the village. It dates from about 1387. One of the really fascinating things about brass rubbing is that many generations of a family can often be traced through their tombs. If you can combine that with finding out something about their family history, then it's really exciting. You might think it a little odd that an actress should even consider this relatively slow spare time occupation. But for Ingrid, it's a rest from the bright lights and the scurry of the world of show business. There is another reason, however. Some of the costumes depicted on the brasses are so accurately drawn that Ingrid considers her hobby useful if she should ever play in Shakespeare. But primarily, it is just a hobby. And a nice one, it must seem, to the millions of women to whom brass rubbing means polishing the ornaments on the sitting room mantelpiece.